You won't believe what Steve did for his adopted daughter, Lori, while his own children were neglected. Who is Marjorie, the woman behind the scenes, with a past involving an FBI investigation and collusion with a drug dealer? This exclusive video uncovers the truth about Steve's actions and Marjorie's influence, revealing the dark side of fame and family. Don't miss out on his jaw dropping expose only on our channel dedicated to the hottest celebrity news and scandals. Hi everyone and welcome back to Celeb Live Channel. And today we talk about the latest buzz surrounding Steve Harvey and his family drama. Apparently, Steve has been accused of neglecting his biological children in favor of his adopted daughter Lori, whom he treats with unwavering affection. But did you know that Steve's wife Marjorie has an interesting history of her own? She was investigated by the FBI for possible collusion with a drug dealer, which only adds fuel to the fire of the ongoing rumors about their relationship. Despite all this drama, Steve still manages to maintain his career as a successful talk show host and comedian, and his fans remain loyal and eager to hear more about his personal life. So stay tuned for more updates on this ongoing saga, only on our channel. Many insiders have recently reported that Brandy Harvey, daughter of Steve Harvey, is speaking out about her father's hypocritical behavior. Brandy has expressed concerns over her father treating Marjorie's children better than his own biological children. She has also revealed revealed some shocking family secrets that will leave you in awe. Despite portraying himself as the perfect husband and father, Steve's behavior towards his own children suggests otherwise. While Marjorie and Lori may think highly of him, Steve's biological children have a different perspective. It seems that Steve is unable to handle the chaos that exists within his family, particularly between his three adopted children, his wife, Marjorie, and his four biological children. Despite always having a solution for family matters, Steve appears to have no answers when it comes to his own family issues. He openly admits to favoring Marjorie's children over his own, which has caused tension between his children. What's concerning is that despite this ongoing drama, Steve has done nothing to intervene or try to mend the broken relationships amongst his children. It seems that he is not concerned about his biological children's feelings at all. As Brandy Harvey points out, he doesn't even attempt to conceal the fact that he prefers Marjorie and her children above his own children. It has been reported that Steve's children are envious of Lori due to the apparent favoritism she receives from him. While Lori basks in Steve's attention, the other children must fight for the occasional scrap of affection he tosses their way. According to a source, Steve has adopted Marjorie's children and loves them as his own, but this has caused tension amongst the Harvey clan. Resentment has built up amongst the siblings, especially towards Lori, who is the most well-known of Steve's children and has a high-profile love life. Now now it's no secret that Steve favors Lori above his other children. It's evident to anyone who watches the family dynamics that he treats her differently and speaks about her more frequently than his other children. It's easy to forget that he has other children besides Lori, given how much attention he gives her. While I am not a member of the Steve Harvey family, it's clear that the favoritism he shows towards Lori has caused considerable strife amongst his other children. One can only imagine the pain that Steve's other children must feel, watching their father shower Lori with attention and neglecting them. It's hard enough to deal with a parent's favoritism, but it's even harder when it's on public display. It's no wonder that the tension amongst the Harvey clan has reached a boiling point. What's truly unfortunate is that Steve doesn't seem to realize the harm that he's causing with his blatant favoritism. By prioritizing Lori over his other children, he's not only damaging their relationships with each other, but also their relationships with him. Steve's behavior sends the message that some of his children are more valuable or deserving of his love than others, which can be incredibly damaging to their self-esteem and sense of worth. It's important for parents to show equal love and attention to all of their children, regardless of how famous or successful they may be. But the situation is even more heart-wrenching than that. Steve's own son, Broderick, has spoken out about the lack of attention and affection he received from his father growing up. Despite being his biological child, Broderick didn't have a full-time father until he was 16 years old. Imagine growing up without the love and guidance of a father figure, only to finally receive it when you're almost an adult. It's a painful reality that Broderick has had to come to terms with. However, his experience pales in comparison to that of Steve's second biological child, Winton. The son of Steve and his second wife, Mary, Winton's childhood was marred by his parents' failed marriage and Steve's absence. I didn't really have my dad full time into my life until I was 16. During the divorce, Steve's ex-wife, Mary, shared some alarming details about how Steve treated their son, Winton. Mary claimed that Winton would often return from Steve's house with bruises and injuries, and one time Steve hit him so hard that he was unable to breathe. Winton even suffered from physical violence over his homework and Mary reported that the abuse was so severe that the boy couldn't urinate for days. These revelations have caused many people to question Steve's parenting techniques, and some have even labeled his actions as abusive. While some may argue that physical discipline is necessary for children, it's hard to justify the kind of violence that Steve allegedly inflicted on Winton. As a parent, it's important to set boundaries and consequences for children, but it's equally important to treat them with love and respect. 
No child should have to suffer from physical abuse, and it's clear that Steve's behavior went beyond acceptable forms of punishment. Once Mary called the police and even provided photographic evidence, but Steve was still cleared of all charges. To make matters worse, Steve got a gap order placed on Mary, preventing her from speaking about him. Even Carly and Brandy, Steve's twins, didn't have a good relationship with him since he divorced their mother when they were young. Steve remained distant from them and never made an effort to be involved in their lives. On the other hand, he was very present in Marjorie's children's lives. He even took Lori out on regular father daughter dates where they discussed topics such as dating and other similar issues, which he never did with his own daughters. As Lori says furthermore, during one of our yearly father-daughter dates at my favorite Japanese restaurant, you started talking to me about men and how you've always been there for me and would continue to be there for me no matter what, showing me unwavering support. Despite having a father figure in her childhood, Steve's actions towards Lori are commendable but he should have been providing the same level of attention and care for his own children. However, it becomes more complicated because Brandy believes that Marjorie forced Steve to leave his children. Marjorie's background is quite interesting as she and Steve first met when he was a struggling comic artist, but she wasn't interested in that lifestyle. Eventually, Steve had enough cash to marry her, but during this time, Marjorie had an affair with an unidentified man and divorced her previous husband, Jim Townsend, a drug dealer. She was even investigated by the FBI for possible collusion with Jim's narcotics network, but was later cleared of all charges. After marrying Steve, Marjorie made him adopt her children and prioritize them over his own. Although Steve did provide financial support for his biological children, he never went the extra mile to show his adopted children the same level of care and attention. He even missed a family day function and other important events in the twins' lives. Some have criticized Marjorie, calling her a con artist, and claimed that Steve's affection towards Lori and her mother was only due to his wife. In the end, the affection of a parent is invaluable, and money cannot replace it. It's difficult to listen to Steve speak about his family when he neglected his biological children and showed favoritism towards his adopted ones. One fan commented, that's not his daughter. His actual children were neglected. Simply put, Marjorie is a con artist, and this wouldn't even be a topic if he hadn't received his money. One important lesson we can learn from Steve's story is the importance of being present in the lives of our children. No amount of money or material possessions can replace the love and affection of a parent. Steve's focus on his own success and his disregard for his own children led to a strained relationship that could have been avoided with more effort and attention. As parents, we should strive to create a balance between our careers and family life and prioritize our children's needs and well-being above all else. It's also worth noting that the complexities of family relationships and dynamics can be challenging and difficult to navigate. In Steve's case, his choice to adopt Marjorie's children and prioritize them over his own biological children is controversial and raises questions about his motives and actions. While we may not fully understand or agree with the decisions of others, it's important to approach these situations with empathy and understanding. Ultimately, we can all learn from Steve's mistakes and strive to be better parents and family members in our own lives. Thank you for watching this video on the complicated family dynamics of Steve and his children. I hope it has provided some insight into the importance of parental affection and involvement in a child's life. If you have any thoughts or comments on this topic, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Tell us about your own stories of difficult communication with a parent. I would love to hear your perspectives and engage in a conversation with you. Thank you again for tuning in, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye!